What's going on guys, it's Iron Player here and today I'm bringing you the best quit scoping class in Call of Duty Ghost. I spent a long time working out and fine tuning the exact details of this class to make it the best I think it can be and uh, working out what is useful, what isn't and uh, here I think I have the best quit scoping class in my opinion. But obviously this is just my opinion, you might think that you prefer something else so uh, feel free to leave a comment, let me know what perk or attachment you maybe would prefer to use and uh, yeah we can work out a really really good class. The gameplay you're watching in the background is a 1v1 to me and my friend Messi self. It's nothing too serious, it's just a random 1v1 in a private match and you can see the class that I'm talking about in action so uh, it's really good. There's some cool shots in there did a couple of uh, trick shots but yeah that's the gameplay in the background. So into the class we're going to be using the USR sniper rifle. This is probably the best quit scoping sniper simply because it's got a really fast pullback time for the bolt it's uh, it's just generally outclasses the, uh, the other sniper the L115 in uh, a lot of ways and it's just a nicer sniper to handle and uh, for attachments it's actually strange because in this game there are very very little attachments for the snipers as for sights there's only the ACOG thermal and variable zoom none of those are at all helpful and then for the barrel there is a silencer which obviously isn't helpful and the chrome line which is debatable because it does increase damage but it increases the kick which makes it less accurate overall I personally don't like this so I don't use this on my USR sniper rifle and uh, simply because I feel the damage is high enough anyway on the sniper I don't really need an extra and I really don't like the increased kick. Uh, the only attachment I do use is extended mags in the mods category because again armor piercing don't find that useful but extended mags is always useful so you can let off more shots before having to reload. The main thing about this class setup is the perks and this is where all the interesting decisions are going to be made. So uh, in my personal class I don't use any secondaries, lethals or tacticals. Uh, lethals and tacticals are kind of pointless and for secondaries I feel that if you're going to be a real quick scope and there's no point pulling out your secondary weapon and pistols you should be a sniper if you want to be a quick scoper i just think if you want to be a sniper then you should be a sniper not putting out pistols all the time so we're uh, into the perks this is where the main interesting things are we have ready up which is faster aim after sprinting this is very very crucial because obviously quick scoping is all about popping into your sights very quickly and uh, in order to do this it's very very helpful that we have this one point perk which is allowing you to ready up your aim after you sprint so you can pop in a little bit quicker and then slice of hand of course this is very very useful because it allows you to reload because you will be letting off a lot of shots and you do need to reload snipers pretty quickly as normally they do take quite a while and then into the next category we have on the go which allows you to reload while sprinting this is a new perk to call duty ghost and very very useful you can see it in the gameplay here sometimes i uh, sprint off and reload it's very good for getting out of sticky situations sometimes you might find you've uh, put a couple shots into people and then uh, you're getting into trouble and you need to run away but you need to make that decision do you want to reload reload your gun and have ammo to fire back or do you want to run away to safety with this perk you can do both and it's only one point so it's very useful in this setup and then the next perk is steady aim which we know all the way from every single Call of Duty game uh, this increases your hip fire accuracy so it reduces the cone of the spread of bullets that comes out of your sniper rifle you may not think this is useful seeing as you'll be quit scoping you'll be kind of aiming down the sights but it actually does increase it because when you're actually quit scoping you're basically reducing the cone where the where the bullets can spread and uh, you're reducing it from its maximum to its minimum if you have steady aim the maximum is smaller so you have less of a deduction to be able to uh, decrease from so it's very useful you have less of a hip fire spread to uh, improve on so it will start off a lot more accurate and uh, if you want a no scope and things like that it's also very helpful and uh, and then quick draw this is always a very useful perk for quick scoping obviously because it allows you to aim down sight quicker and uh, that is essentially what you need to do very importantly in quick scoping and this is a three point perk very rightfully so because it is a very useful perk in ghost it doesn't actually have that much an effect on the snipers and it's not too obvious that aiming down sight is quicker but when you combine all these perks together it does make a little difference and i'm going to have a video at some time showing you the exact difference between when you are and aren't running quick draw and how much it actually helps you and then the final perk we're going to be running is focus now this is reduced weapon sway when you're aiming down sight and also reduced flinch when hit the main feature that we're going to utilize for this setup is going to be reduced sway when aiming down sight. I'm also going to have another video showing exactly that but uh, essentially is when you're aiming down sight there's going to be less sway and again you might think that's not too useful because you're not going to be aiming down sight you're supposed to be quit scoping but it's important because for those slight milliseconds that you are actually aiming down sight when you're just about to take the shot it's going to reduce the way it's bouncing around it's going to make a steadier shot it's going to make your quit scoping a lot more accurate so these are all the perks they're main 
mainly affecting the speed that you do things because their resistance and all the stealth and other perks aren't as useful this is the best combination in my opinion hopefully you've enjoyed this video again you can leave your suggestions in the comment section let me know what your favorite class setup is when you're quit scoping gonna have a bunch of different videos showing you all kinds of my favorite classes and good ones to set up if you enjoyed the video then spend a second clicking on the like button and if you want to see more you can check out my koji ghost playlist which is linked in the description so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys later Jump.